All right, thanks, Tim. Former Bears fullback Freddie Stevenson grew up experiencing poverty and homelessness, but worked his worked his way up to the NFL. Now the 26-year-old is a motivational speaker helping others to overcome the odds. His book, Trials to Triumph, reveals stories from his childhood and how he got to where he is today. Freddie Stevenson joins us live this morning. Hey, Freddie, good to have you. Hey, guys, I appreciate you having me on today. Hey, you know, so I've, I've read a, a, about your story, and it's it's kind of interesting how you've fallen in now to, to motivational speaking. You talk a lot about about kind of reinventing yourself and, and how difficult it is to make that transition from something you've known your entire life playing football to something else. It, it was not an easy transition for you, though. Yeah, without a doubt. Like you said, my whole entire life was wrapped up into the identity of being a football player. I wanted to play in the NFL, thought I would play 10 to 15 years, and I didn't have a, have a true plan after. And I believe a lot of guys that play the game, they're the same. They think that everything will get figured out after they're done playing. You think that you have a good career, and I'll figure things out. I'll be good enough to figure things out and have opportunities laid out for me after. But what, what if you don't have a good career? What if it ends earlier than you expected it to do? And that's where a lot of guys run into problems. You seem to make the decision pretty quickly, though, uh, in, into your playing career. What was the impetus for that? Yeah, I was, to be honest, it was about two years of rough times, depressions, suicidal thoughts, thinking that I was worthless. And I remember during that time, a mentor reached out to me and asked me to come speak at an all-star game. And I'm a guy that never really s spoke in front of a large crowd before. I didn't really like public speaking. But I went out there, and it absolutely changed my life. I remember people running up to me after the event, pouring their hearts out to me, telling me how my story impacted them. And it was a feeling that I never got while playing the game. And I knew that this was what I was supposed to be doing. You know, I think uh, when, when people read these stories of, of people coming from from more humble beginnings in, in ascending to the height you have. I think sometimes people just look at it as one story after another. There was one story you told, though, when you were a kid about your mom. Your, your dad was, was in jail, and your mom was raising, I think, five kids, and there was an incident at a McDonald's. Can, can you tell that story? Yeah, we're at, we're at a McDonald's one day. We had eaten this, like, 8 o'clock in the evening. We walk up to a McDonald's. My, sister, my mom gathers everybody together, and then she orders a cheeseburger. The total comes out to a dollar and five cents. And we didn't know at the time that my mom only had a dollar to her name. And for some reason, the cashier was being difficult that day and wouldn't allow her to get the burger with just a dollar. So we watched my mom. She had to go around McDonald's and beg for a nickel. And somebody was generous enough to give her the nickel. And she walked us outside after getting the cheeseburger, sliced it up into five pieces, and started handing it out to everybody. And we started eating. And as we're eating, my older sister notices that my mom wasn't eating. And then everybody else, we look at our food and we offer our mom some food. And she turns it down and breaks into tears. And that moment just stood with me. And it, it's really what's motivated me all these years. You said it was one of those things where it was a lesson to you to never give up. Is, what is the lesson you give to other people who, who, whom you speak to and who hear your story? I'll, never giving up is part of that message. But ultimately, you're, you're never out of the fight. Me, I've been through so much just along my journey. And people that read this book, they'll see that. You'll feel like constantly, constantly, I'm overcoming battles. And then after transitioning after ball, I was at the lowest point of my life. And it was during my darkest moments in life that I found purpose. And as long as you grasp onto that little bit of hope that you have, you still have a chance. I was I was depressed. I was feeling suicidal. I was feeling worthless. But there was still a part of me that felt like I can go on and achieve something great. And just if you have a little bit of hope, latch on to that and, and never give up. You're never out of the fight as long as you're breathing. All right, Freddie, the book is Trials to Triumph. You can find more from Freddie Stevenson on Twitter and Instagram at StruggleMade105. Freddie, thanks so much.